Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So, hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Wednesday, the 29th of August 2018. I'm joined by Eddie. What's the time, Eddie? The time is. Am I Rebecca? Now? Yeah, Miss shout out to Rebecca Phillips, who's actually just texted us saying, have a good time. Where, I mean, you already know where we're going, but. 7.08. Quite early. And <laughs> where are we off to? This new world. I am Florida. so excited, legit. I'm so we have, we've been planning this for the past year and a half. Since about the end of June, beginning of July of last, 2017. Last yeah, um, and Eddie's never really properly been to the world. You've been to Hollywood I've Studios. Been to, um, yeah, I went to the Hollywood Studios back in 2013, I believe. Um, and then for a day, but that's the only park I've been to. So he's got, I've got so much, oh my god, I'm just so excited to be going with him. And I know a lot's happened since then as well, that, like they've got rid of the hat. Yeah, so you remember the Hollywood scenes on the hat, and um, I mean Toy Story Land is open, so there's many new things for me to explore as well. I'm just very much like, we, we have, we're on a bumpy ride, so you can just, <laughs> I don't know if you think you could have seen that one. Anyway, uh, so yeah, look forward to a series of new Disney World vlogs, I'm very excited. We've got my luggage here, where I've got some of it here, the rest of it is somewhere there. We'll see you at the airport. We have just um, checked in our bags. Mine was 16 kilos. How much was yours? 18. Um, <laughs> 23 was the limit. Yeah, so we've, you've got about five kilos of potential things to bring back if you need to. Um, everyone knows I'm really terrible with this kind of stuff. Every, every time I've been to Disney World previously, the past three times, I've struggled on the way back because uh, I buy a lot of crap. Oh, I feel so weird without my bag. It's weird, isn't it, not having your bag. I mean, I've still got the small bag, but it's not. You it's just. Drop something. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, you feel very. Well, you feel like you're on stress. the moon or something. You're a bit light. Anyway, we're about to go to security um, and then I'm just excited for food. I need some food, I need some breakfast. Okay, so guys, it's 8.30 in the morning, roughly. We got through security very, very quickly. Um, we've got about an hour and something until our flight. Our flight's at around maybe quarter past 10 or 20 past 10 in the morning, so we've got quite a bit of time. Currently we are at Garfunkel's, as you can see over there, looking at the menus, trying to figure out what we want for breakfast. I've never actually had a breakfast from a Garfunkel's before, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm probably going to go for the Garfunkel's breakfast over there if it focuses, just because I feel like it's everything really, isn't it? Everything you want from life. We have our drinks. I went for a simple yet effective orange juice, which uh, matches my watch at the moment, more or less. Uh, Edda, you went for a... I went for a latte cup latte. Which looks beautiful, actually. Let's put the sugar in. Ooh. Oh Lord have mercy, what a beauty, what a thing of beauty that is. <laughs> My beauty of a breakfast has just arrived. I went for the Garfunkel's full breakfast situation. So we've got some sausages, some, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word for these? Fried eggs though, not scrambled. Um, and so I got those and then some uh, toast and then Lord have mercy, life is great. And he's about to vlog. Yay, 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 yay. Are you happy? Check my channel out. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but we are flying with Virgin on this ship and our gate is number 51, which is where we are heading to right now. You can see the sign there saying gates 46 to 54 which means there's obviously 51 somewhere in between. Um, our flight leaves in about 40 minutes or so. We've done really well for time. Like Earlier on I was telling Eddie, I don't, want to come, I don't want to come to the airport so early because I like being a late person, just kind of leaving everything at the last minute. But I'm kind of glad that we got here so early because we had a really nice relaxed breakfast. Very full now and I'm just prepared to sleep and catch up on all the sleep that I didn't have last night because I literally only had about a 20 minute nap last night. I did not sleep at all. So we are now through our gate and we've just been told that apparently it's quite a quiet flight. Like I don't know if they were joking or not, but I would like it to be quite quiet. And this is our plane. It's also raining a little bit outside, yeah. so uh, not a big fan of that situation, but it's fine. We're going to be inside, protected by this lovely, beautiful situation, and I'm just going <laughs> to wake up, hopefully after eight or nine hours, and suddenly I'll be in Orlando. Let's hope for that. I mean, I don't think she was joking, guys. This, this plane at the moment does look pretty empty to me. <laughs> we are now on the plane, as you can see. Um, uh, yeah looking forward to life. What are you going to do on this journey for most of it? So I've downloaded loads of like, TV shows. So you know you'd like them, my yeah. Phone. So that's it for some of them. I've also got a tally, got a book. What book is it? Super Kids. Oh yeah, exciting. Well, well done. Um, I'm very bad company guys on planes uh, and, and he's about to experience it for the first time with me because I, I, I don't like flying which is why this is actually a tip for you if, you don't, if you're a nervous flyer one of my biggest tips is that if you make sure that you don't sleep before a long flight like you just don't sleep just force yourself to not sleep and when you get on the flight, on the flight you're going to be so knackered and so exhausted and so tired that you're just going to fall asleep whether you like it or not so even if you're like 
worried, even if there's turbulence, even if like you're uncomfortable on the plane, you're just gonna fall asleep. I think I'm the greatest showman on that. I can't. Yeah. Oh, hold on. What? Good, good film. Um, they might probably even have it to watch. Yeah, it's too long. Yeah, it is quite long. I feel like TV shows are another good tip. Actually, TV. If you don't, if you don't want to sleep, TV shows are a good no, way to and short, like so. little little snippets rather than a long thing. You, you don't can't watch anything like planes. Yeah. Oh my god. Some people do. Some people watch like dramatic things. I like, see other people sometimes. Don't commit yourself to like a like, dramatic long thing on a plane, in my opinion. But anyway, this is my tip. I like the fact that I fall asleep, but then I just wake up and suddenly I'm in Orlando. Um, but yeah, I'll probably, I, if food and stuff comes, I'm wait for the, for the food. I will show you them. Otherwise, I'll see you in Orlando. Bye. Woo. Oh, and that's the wing, which is very cute. And currently, we've got this seat free as well, by the way, which is lovely. I feel like. Hopefully nobody will come and, and if, if they don't come I'll probably go there and then we'll have this seat in the middle to enjoy our lives with. Or no, every hour for 12 hours, if that makes sense. And then you have to like exercise for half an hour every day. 
and you have to move for like I don't know quite a bit basically it's really good in terms of like what it does for your health but obviously it's difficult when you're on a on a plane because you know literally I can't like stand up all the time but it does give me reminders every hour it's like oh it's time to stand up and I have been listening to it as much as I can so I just go for walks I went for a walk earlier as well before Eddie went um, and I'm probably going to do it again soon just to just to keep my circles closed you know if you know if you've got an apple watch you know what I'm talking about it's annoying and I've got an addictive personality so I'm really addicted to like making sure my rings are closed Lord have mercy what is my life I should sleep We have our second round of food, which is sandwiches and crisps. What? What was that? Waffle. It is quite a cute situation. I also decided to actually eat this time round. So some crisps in there, a cheddar cheese and tomato chutney scenario. Uh, Ad's gone through this booklet and he enjoyed it. I read about 80 pages of this book and I'm still enjoying it. Um, we've only got about an hour or two to go now before we land. Guys, you can probably see we've started our landing situation to Orlando. We've only got about eight minutes to go, apparently, according to this. And here we are on Orlando soil, which is exciting. I am pretty tired, so I literally only ended up like, sleeping for about three hours, two and a half hours in the beginning. I thought I was going to sleep the whole way through, but I didn't. I got distracted by other things like the book and just listening to music, other things. So, yeah, the, the flight has still gone very quickly, though. Hopefully, um, the security situation, parcel or whatever, is going to go okay as well. And before we know it, we're going to be at our resort, which is part of animation. It wasn't busy at all. Like it's of the four times I've been to Orlando, this was the quickest it's been. So I well done. I'm really happy. I think it was the, the fact that we got a very early flight, not a very early flight, but we got a 10 o'clock flight rather than normally uh, with we book with this. We booked our flight separately. We book a package is normally like one o'clock flight or something. Anyway, um, we are here. It's been good. I enjoyed. The, I actually enjoyed the guy who um, looked at my passport. Well. It was actually kind of nice, which doesn't happen all the time. It sometimes can be quite scary and intimidating. But yeah, now we're off to the main part. Transportation options are on level one. Lord have mercy, obviously Toy Story Land has now opened recently in Disney World. And they've got this beautiful sign here, Hollywood Studios. Toy Story Land now open with a little alien there as well. It's so exciting. I love the Orlando like airport anyway. So you've got Goofy there, my sexy man, loving life. We've got that sign the actual sign, Orlando sign on the other side. We've got Harry Potter stuff here, not Eddie, but you know, Harry Potter stuff, Universal Studios stuff. And then obviously Disney Airport here as well, if you want to get some last minute Disney bits and bobs, or first minute Disney bits and bobs before you come to your hotel. I don't know, I love this. I just, this, this, this whole airport is just magical. We are now in the queue for the Disney Express. There's a sign there, Eddie's just gone to the toilet. Very excited. The time is Orlando time. 3.30 p.m. So we've got the whole evening and afternoon time more or less to um let me show you Eddie's little tag as well which is very cute. Shout out to his friend Charlie for giving him this for his birthday. Really cute and obviously these are my stuff and the magical express is just there. Cannot wait to get to our hotel now. Literally spent the past 10 minutes chatting to a lovely lady called Elizabeth from Michigan. She was in the other lane and the conversation started by her saying that she really enjoys my tattoo and then I was like, oh, thank you so much, but it's just it's the Disneyland Paris castle, not the one in Florida. And she was like, oh, that's cool, but I mean, it's obviously still quite similar. And then she asked if she could take a picture of it because she's considering getting something similar, but with a Disney World castle. So shout out to you, um, Elizabeth. You usually ask on my channel as well. So if you're watching, thank you so much for making our day. She's like a full-on DVC member. She comes here all the time. Oh. <laughs> and here's the Magical Express. Hi, Mickey. We are on the bus now. How are you feeling, Eddie? 
Yeah. Do you enjoy the fact that the bus provides you actual TVs where you can like literally watch I enjoy the past stop. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to this. That is exciting. Um, so yeah, it's going to be our lives for the next maybe half an hour or so. And then before we know it, hopefully, we're going to be in art of animation in our aerial theme rooms. Enjoy DZ, have a great time. Thank you for having this one. Pop Century, yes. what the heck? Pop Century. It looks so cute. Fingers down the side. Girl, you look mad as fine. Won't you rub your finger? <laughs> this is beautiful. Guys, I've seen this resort in like vlogs and photos and stuff, but honestly, being here, this is all I've ever wanted. Like, I love colours. Look at that whole colour selection going on there. Oh my god. And then all these characters here. Lordy. Look at the chick, my main girl. Oh, wow. This is... How are you finding this, Eddie? It's big, isn't it? It's rather big, yeah. <laughs> Bit I, think, of... I think I expected the lobby to be quite small. No, I know. Compared to Disneyland Paris resorts, the, the Disney World resorts are all, like, huge. Oh, and there's an ink and paint shop over there as well, which I'm guessing is our local oh, shop. Cool. Let's go. Smell. It smells beautiful. All to side, guys, it seems very quiet. Like even our Magical Express had uh, only a few people in it. It wasn't very busy at all. And even now, it doesn't seem like it's a busy situation or anything. It's like nearly five o'clock. I want to say four thirty p.m. Orlando time. Um, so yeah, let's go and check in and see where our room is going to be. Nine eight two one. Can we do, please? You don't even know where that is. I just know that it's an odd number, and I prefer odd numbers to even numbers. Really? Yeah, I'm weird like that. Two one is right there. So two one is what you want? Yeah, if that's okay. Two it's a cute tonight. It's a cute number. No, no, no. I'll put you there. Thank you. <laughs> Building nine, fourth floor. Fantastic. Yes. And it's ready. And it's aerial, right? The big huge figure of Ariel is on eight in the middle. Here. That's okay. We'll come out and say hi to her. It's fine. King Triton is where you are. Okay, cool. And Ursula is here. Lovely. King Triton's cool. There's a list of movies at 9 and 8.30 if you're here by Building 5, the Nemo Pool, which is right outside of here. Out there. Okay, cool. It's really, really cool. So we are staying there, and this is our bus stop, and Ariel's just chilling there. I mean, this is, this is a bit overwhelming for me, Eddie. Can I ask, um, we won't do it right now, but can mm -hmm. you book tickets here for the park? For the park? Yeah. yeah. Buy tickets? Yeah. For tomorrow, yeah. yeah. And how much are down there? Do you know That's how much of Magic Kingdom one is there? So basically guys, because we book, okay. it's a very complicated situation, we don't actually have tickets when you're in the park, so our first four days uh, in Disney World, because we originally booked to come a bit later, and then we added a few extra days, That's why we're staying in two different hotels, and we want to go to Magic Kingdom tomorrow, so... No. Thank you. It's very dangerous. <laughs> very Honestly, very it's not it's like you guys and you spend so much money. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her wrist will drag her places. <laughs> Her wrist will drag her places. Cute, thank you. Or if you want to, to play free mini golf. Lovely. Free mini golf? Free, yes. Eddie. Yeah. Oh, I like sword for the next few days when we don't have to get. Usually they close at four. Beautiful. Okay. Are you good at golf, Eddie? No. Neither am I. I mean, look at that is cute shout out to my friend Marie she enjoys this style of making a mini that's hilarious your what's your name Teresita so you have been incredibly lovely checking us into the Art of Animation Hotel my pleasure anytime thank you very much and you say my name beautifully as well Summer <laughs> that's like the that's the best way anyone's ever pronounced it who isn't Iranian if that makes any sense because Samar's an it's a it's the name of a province in the Philippines. Which is fantastic. I want to go and visit this province now. Lord have mercy. Thank you very much for your help. Bye bye. Scan that. Go on. Okay. Go in. Guys, we're in 9821, which is. Oh, oh why have we got only one bed though? Oh, there's only one bed. That's. I mean, it's quite big. Uh, are you sure you want this? Or do you want to go and change it to two beds? I don't mind. You can show oh, me that, that is. 
a thing of beauty. Guys, this is all we've ever wanted. Like, uh, you, as you guys know, I love Amazing. the chick Ariel. Um, and look at the mirror. Lord have mercy. The seashells at the top. Um, we've got like a temporary uh, grey magic fans at the moment, by the way, guys. So, yeah, we are on the fourth floor. I think this, is, this might be why we got given one bed rather than two beds. Amazing. Because initially we did defer book for two. Um, so it's up to you, Eddie. What do you want to do? I don't I'm whatever. Happy for stay? Happy to just stay here? Yeah, yeah. Because it is massive. I don't want to like mess around too much. Yeah. yeah. We've already changed our... Yeah, and we've got a really nice location in yeah, terms yeah. of like we're on the fourth floor rather than... Because initially we were going to have on the like a first floor, which is the ground floor. Do you like being by the wall? Yeah, is that alright? Yeah, is that being on the left? Phenomenal! You're going to be next to Flounder and Sebastian. You're going to be next to uh, Eric. My favourite guy. <laughs> All joke aside, this is a beautiful room and I think... Um, what was I going to say? We're only here for a few days anyway. We just want to try it out and look at oh, this shit. mirror. Oh <laughs> shit! Always happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Earlier, at, that's fine. We just yeah. Um, because we get excited. This is our view, by the way, from the fourth floor. We're at the, on the Triton dude guy who is somewhere here. Who knows? He'll be somewhere. But um, oh, now he's go back in. I love how everything is. I'm gonna obviously give you a full-on room tour in a separate video. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you subscribe to my channel because that'll be coming up very soon. Let me do that little situation again. One more, two, one, two, three. Whoop. Okay, let's go back in, guys. <laughs> This is insane. Did oh, you no. see this though? No, let's let's spread it out. Woo oh, it's just we're basically under the sea. Under yeah, the sea. I can go swimming. This is cool. I'm going swimming. You're going swimming right now. Ooh. Eddie's gone. Eddie's in the ocean. We've got a TV. This is a beautiful tonight. I'm in the bath like that. Have you seen how in, like low it is? Yeah. I told you, didn't I? I'll take you, sir. America's just a <laughs> Americans just don't do baths, so you're probably not going to have a bath, I'm guessing, whilst we're in America. No, I'm going to have a shower tonight. Um, I'm really excited. So. Phenomenal. I'm excited for food. I haven't eaten real meal, meal, real food since my breakfast. I had a sandwich, which was alright. But um, this is this is beautiful. I'm very excited. And the time right now is... One, two, three. What three, is it? Two, five. Fantastic, it's not focusing on my phone. Oh, there you go. 16.42. And it's gone now. Bye, Woody. No, but it's good. It's cheaper than I thought it was. Really. We have now purchased our Magic Kingdom tickets for tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow the whole day, which is very exciting. It turned out being a bit cheaper than we wanted it to, which is, no, no, wait, well, wait. It, was. <laughs> it was cheaper than we had thought, which was great. We are now, it's like 6.30, we're finally at the food court area, checking out for the first time. Um, to have a look and just see kind of what kind of, yeah, what I'm styles ready. of food they've got. What have we got? Oh, okay. What did you see? I don't know. I'm feeling chicken nuggets. Oh, barbecued pork sandwich, that looks good. They've got standard burger. I, I don't know what I want. I don't know. I don't know if you want. I don't want that. I might get whatever that was. What was oh, the pulled pork thing? Do they not have like, the nuggets here? They must do. Anyway, I'm so hungry I could literally eat anything right now. So again, I'll show you around this area a bit more um, later on on our trip. But today I just want to give you a quick look. This is what it looks like. It's so... Maybe it's just early because it's 6.30 but it's really quiet. I'm just not used to Disney World being so quiet. We're in the middle of August. Well, not middle of August. 29th of August. But still, I just assumed it would be a bit busier. But Americans start school earlier than English people. So I think a lot of people are back at school. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get my food now because I'm very hungry. So my heart is saying nuggets. But my stomach is saying a burger because I'm very hungry. And I feel like nuggets won't quite be enough. I'm at the stand that does both burgers and nuggets and all the typical Disney stuff. Um, I need to get on the cold pork thing from the other one. I just can't get over how, how quiet it is. Like normally at food courts you have to queue a lot from my experience from the past three times I've been to Disney World. This is just insane. Um, I don't know. I also want some mac and cheese from there. I just want everything guys. I'm so hungry. What do I do? The only thing I don't want is pizza because I'm not a fan of pizza. But I think we'll just go there and see what my mouth comes out with by the time I get to them. My mouth ended up saying chicken nuggets and chips guys and they gave me double chips as in double french fries and obviously I also got myself some double mayonnaise situation as well they just asked me if you want a double or single I, I paid a bit more for the double like don't you worry and then yours actually looks really nice as well so it's a pulled pork sandwich with some crisps and that salad bit actually genuinely looks nice as well do you think you're gonna have it? I'll have some of it, that was so nice I'll have some of it the water was nice I've not had any water oh, is it? Um, um, it is a lot it is a lot, so, yeah but I'm excited, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for food. My just go for it, go for your, go for your first bite. Um, Eddie just fired one of my chips as well and he approved. Let me have yeah, yeah, the first. Chicken nuggets here are, I mean the Disneyland Paris chicken nuggets are amazing, but honestly, I'll, if you want to try them, I'll just... Is it good, yours? That was just 
Oh, you just have a quiz. <laughs> That's the main event, darling. Um, so we're gonna eat now. We've even got some napkins so here. I bought some from the area in the middle, but it's gonna be happy because we've got our own our smelling meat. Did you not? Oh no! Hello, Doc. This is my old friend. It's okay. It's not too late if you wanna. So many things we need to do, guys. We're all so hungry. Let's eat. I feel a lot better now that I've had food although I definitely did not look good because I haven't had much sleep in the past 24 hours or so probably even more so I've only had about three hours of sleep uh, but we're now in the shop which is called do you know what the name of the shop is our shops ink and something it's beautiful I love the design of it it's literally like what do you, you, what do you um, there's one over there I literally just saw them Have you got there one? There. I don't think I'm gonna do autographs on this trip. Have you, have you seen it over there? Is uh, I think just on behind you. I mean, they've got different varieties. This one's. Oh, they've got. An, oh my god, they've got. I feel like now I want one because the Toy Story one. That is a new one that I have never seen before, and it's completely. To oh, that is so cute. Okay, so I wasn't gonna get an autograph, but I feel like I might have Why to now. I one of your pens? But anyway, um, I haven't bought it yet. I might have to later. That autograph. Book. Um, I just wanted to show you the uh, just the design of the shop because it's just really nicely themed with a whole art of animation situation with like all the art paint stuff and paint tubes and everything it's just uh, the colors just make me so happy i'm a very colorful person and since i just love colors i mean i'm wearing very much black right now obviously i'm wearing my like, story club but normally i try and wear colors um i'm like the opposite of shurika if you're watching shurika shout out to her my friend shurika is very much like almost always black kind of girl in terms of what she wears um but yeah just have a quick look oh this is cute this donald situation very nice these are all so cute. I feel like one day when I have got my own place, I can just literally decorate the whole place with Disney stuff. And we've got some plushies here. Um, I mean, there's loads of things, guys. I haven't looked at the pins, set of pins yet. I've seen the pins, but I've not properly looked at them yet because I feel like I'm definitely going to buy a pin even tonight. And I'm near the Halloween stuff because obviously, even though we're in August, we're out of August today, Halloween is already being celebrated in America. So I feel like when we go to Magic Kingdom tomorrow, the park's already going to be like very much halloween -y. They've already got some of the Halloween stuff here. Like this looks quite cute. I've got something similar to this from Disneyland Paris though, so I don't know if I need that. But they've got some really cute Halloween merch. T-shirts, 2018. Um, yeah, that looks nice as well actually. Well done, they just, they, they very much go all out. Even that is really cool. What have you found, Ede? <laughs> I love these. I, I got I got one of these yeah. the first time I came to Disney World. They are so, oh my god, they've got some. What, is that meant to be an eight? Can you put that on, please? I just want to see what they look like on a person. They've got alien. Alien is. Oh my god, they, they turn off. Do they light up or something? Do want to break them? No, just put them on and see what they look oh, like. Oh. Come on. No, they're, 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 they're Why? Is it for kids? Yeah. yeah, there you go. It wouldn't have broken it. Does it look alright? Do I look a bit no. like. The claws are massive. Sure. <gasps> They've got these limited edition, or I think they're limited edition anyway, Edna Tsum Tsums, like uh, Edna with different ex expressions, which are really cute. Um, I wish I was still collecting Tsum Tsums. I kind of, I still do buy Tsum Tsums every now and again, but only ones that I really, really like. So, as much as I do think this is really cool, um, I don't love them enough to buy them, unfortunately. Do you guys know that notebooks and just like stationery is one of my favorite things in the world? I'm probably standing in front of some beautiful stuff. So let's start with Ariel. Look at this, honestly. Just look at her expression. She looks beautiful. I love, I genuinely love this notebook. And it's got like this kind of pink golden scenario on the side of the papers. Um, and inside it says make a splash, which is lovely on the pages. I think they're all the same. Really, really nice. Um, you've got an aura one as well here. Again, really nice expression of hers. And there's a Cinderella one up here as well. They're all very nice. I believe they're all pink. I think Cinderella might be. Um, let's have a look. Could she be blue? No. Hers is also pink. So they're all the same colour on the sides. We've got some uh, Minnie and Mickey ones here. This one. But then here is what, what. I mean, this is just the best face ever, really. They've got all these. Basically, VHS was a thing that some of you guys might, might not know because it stopped being a thing back in the. 90s I want to say but I was born in the 90s I was born in 1990 and I grew up using VHS and like literally all the all my early memories from all the Disney films that I saw were from watching them on a VHS and uh, they look like this the VHS actual uh, what do you call them what do you call VHS like tape I don't know um, they've made uh, those VHS designs into notebooks 
And I've already got, I think, a couple of them that I bought a, a couple of years ago. And now they've brought out some new designs. Like Peter Pan wasn't a thing when I first um, when they first came out, and now they've got a Peter Pan version. And it's just kind of nice lined paper in there. And when you open it as well, look at that. It's so cool. Can you see it? This is what a VHS looks like, guys. If you didn't know, that is so cool. Um, they've got a little mermaid one. The Lion King one's probably my favourite. If only they brought out like a Pocahontas one, I'd definitely get it. But um, it just brings back so much memories, guys, for me, just seeing them, just the covers, because they're literally, they're all the kind of original covers from back when I was a child, and it just, getting yeah, emotional. Sebastian's loving life here. Oh, yeah. Our King Triton. I mean, is this your favourite time of evening normally? The lights are turned on now. Yeah. It's getting a bit dark. We're going back to this gentleman's uh, area. <laughs> he does have a really good body, joke aside, like, also he's massive. Like, of all the three kind of aerial, all these moment bits that we could have stayed at, I mean, Ursula's on my other side. Can you see her? And obviously Ariel's there, somewhere. We're going to have a look at the whole thing properly in a couple of days, but... <laughs> it just looks hilarious. I love this. This is like... This is a dream. Anyway, I did also buy a couple of things, which... Um, obviously, there'll be a Disney haul when I get back to London. But also, I did get a um, one of those mystery pins that I always get, because I'm so addicted to pins, which I'm going to open when we get to the room. We are now back in our glorious hotel room, and I've got this light shining on top of me as if I'm some kind of angel, which, I mean, let's be real, I am. Um, what's the time? Oh. Eddie, what's the time? 8.29 very early it feels like more like midnight um but yeah it's been a good first day i did say i bought a couple of things obviously i'm not going to show everything that i bought however um the things that are edible i will show so do you know that i got some of these potentially what are they? i don't know um, the donut they're balls like chicken nuggets. <laughs> americans are interesting so they're meant to be like you know donuts just like the balls inside of them i just thought mm. it's good to have them potentially in the room in case we get hungry um you've also got a, a cookie I don't know if you like cookies. Thank you, I do. That's all right. I had many earlier, so I don't have one now. Early, earlier where? I was playing, didn't I? Did you when I was asleep? No, because I offered you one. You didn't want any. Oh yeah, yeah I, I don't remember done. even. I don't remember half of the plane journey to be fair. Um, got one of these as well potentially because I really enjoy them. Got another cookie for myself. Similar situation to Eddie's. And then the pin is what we wanted to do really. Actually, now let me give you a pen as well. Oh, that's for tomorrow. You really wanted oh, your pen situation. Um, I got two in the end, Eddie. So it's fine. We both have one. Can we please help me do this now? It's so. I got one of those mystery pins. Have you ever opened a mystery pin? No. I don't get pins. I'm very excited. Did you see they had art of animation pins? I didn't see the art of animation pin. I was looking for it everywhere oh, actually. It's Where on was the it? Front desk. Oh really? Because I saw like art of animation and everything else. I saw also art of animation um like everything, merch, which anyway, uh let's just open this thing. One, two, three. Do you want to play the options? Yeah, let's show them. So it's Lilo and Stitch, Mike and Sally, Buzz and Woody. There'll be, I think, three things Marine in there. Uh, yeah, I think there'll be um, three in there. I definitely want Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. I want Mulan and, is it Mushu? I'd quite like Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Oh, and actually, Woody and Buzz. Woody and Buzz, I'm going to have to go for them. Um, I think you get five. Oh, five? Five. No, you're correct, Lordy. We just bought the new iPhone, and we are <laughs> going to unbox it for you now. <laughs> this is an iPhone unboxing, guys. What do we do then? It'll oh, work. Haha, <laughs> thank you. One, two, three. Alright, oh, so we just, this, you close your eyes and you pick one out. One, two, three. So I got Bambi and, um, I'll show you in a second. Bambi and Thumper, I'll show them all to you at the end. So you got Woody and Buzz. <gasps> yes! Lordy, well done for the luck. One, two, three. And, uh, Pumba, yeah, and Simba's there as well. There's three of them, so that's great. Got Lilo and Stitch. Fair, cute, not one of my favourites. And then the last one is oh, oh, Mike and Solly. I'm kind of happy. Yeah. Are you? Which one? I mean, we've got William Buzz, and that's really all that matters. It would have been great if we got Ariel and Flounder because of the room that we're in. I'm just going to share these really quickly to you. Thank you so much, Eddie, for helping me out. Um, so obviously my favourite one. Is this one? One, two, three, four, five. Look, look at this, absolutely beautiful. Then we got Mike and Solly, probably my second favourite because I do love Monsters Inc. a lot, and Solly's one of my favourite characters of all time. Then we got Pumba, Timon, and Simba, like the three of them, just having a little fun gathering. Then we've got Bambi and Thumper, not one of my favourites. I mean, they're cute, but I just don't really like Bambi as that you know that much as a film. It's all right. Do you like Bambi, Eddie? Um, it's okay. 
yeah i've got stitch and Lilo. that's quite cute actually so we did okay like i'm actually very happy with the selection i'm not gonna buy <laughs> mystery pins every single night because uh, that would cost a lot but i just wanted to celebrate my first night with them and i'm happy with everything we got but that is it for the day it's been a very good first day actually i'm very full in a good way i'm not too tired either my tooth hurts i don't know if i explained it in the vlog or not actually if you if, if you're not following me on instagram guys you should definitely follow me on instagram sam for god i'll leave the link down below because i do a lot of stories from all my Disney trips and just generally in life and a load of like um, Instagram lives as well and I think I was doing an Instagram live earlier and I mentioned about my tooth just being very much in pain today so that's not fun I'm gonna have to have some painkillers ibuprofen and hopefully things will be good I don't want to have to go to the dentist in America but yes tomorrow we're going to Magic Kingdom it's gonna be a good time so the vlog's not ending yet uh, so you'll get to see a bit of Magic Kingdom tomorrow as well so keep watching I hope you've been enjoying it so far leave a comment down below or a like if you have so far but don't go because it's still continuing I'll see you tomorrow bye it is the next day, Friday, Thursday, the 3rd of 2018, and we are currently. Is that exactly the first day? We are currently on our way on the bus to Magic Kingdom, of course. We were hoping to catch the. Oh, is it starting to rain already? No, oh, that's from yesterday. Okay, okay. We were also hoping to see the catch the early the morning weather show. We might not make it. That's why if we don't, we'll watch another day. But um, how are you finding the bus so far? It's cool. It's yeah, Eddie sat down and he was like, this is like a slide. And then he said, I mean, a bit dramatic. But, um, yeah, looking forward to a lovely fun day. Also, we just managed to do some fast buses as well. Because we got our Magic Man's yesterday. So we hadn't done fast buses today yet. But we've got quite a few good ones, so I'm looking forward to it. Lord have mercy, guys. We are here. I'm literally standing in front of the Magic Kingdom entrance. And it is like all halloween vibes because Halloween is something that they celebrate early in America. Eddie should be coming somewhere behind me. We just went to a bad check and stuff. Um, and I just heard the announcement that the opening ceremony starts in about five minutes so we might actually be able to catch some of it we're not going to like rush the castle but we might get to see some of it um i'm so excited the weather is okay as well it's not too hot it's meant to rain quite a lot at this time of year but um it's just very humid i don't like the humidity but <sighs> magic kingdom just i'm really happy that oh my god look at the pumpkins there as well lord i'm really happy that like I've started to really love Disney World because if you watch like my 2015 vlog, obviously it was my first time here, I kept thinking, oh, it's not the same as Paris. But now it's, it's kind of become something else to Paris. It's very different to Paris. I still prefer Paris, but I still have this kind of soft spot for Disney World as well. And hopefully, Edda, Edda, you okay? Shall we go? We might make it, you know. So we do this, and then we do that. There you go. Eddie, is your first time doing this? Well done! You're in! Eddie, it's his first time obviously seeing the castle and he's got this whole plan of how he wants to see the castle for the first time. Lord have mercy guys, look at all the pumpkin stuff. The whole Main Street USA scenario here in Disney World is so much bigger than it is in Paris and obviously this is in California as well. But it always like throws me off when I've not been here for a while, even though I was only here in January. Look at these! Hello! Look at all these decorations, this is very very cute. But yeah, it's weird because when you go through um, the main gates you can't actually see the castle, like this is what I'm seeing. Um, so you have to actually go in the middle to then be able to actually probably see the castle. This is Meet Mickey, who no longer talks unfortunately, I don't know what's happened to him. He lost his voice probably because he talked to too many guests. Tinkerbell's over there. We do have uh, fast passes for like Tinkerbell and stuff later on uh, during the holiday. I think we've got a Mickey fast pass for today as well actually. I'm looking forward to meeting Mickey now that he can't talk. talk. Not that I didn't appreciate him talking but like... Oh, there's a photo opportunity there. Which is cute with the background of the Halloween stuff and the castle and everything. I'm just very happy. I'm very hot, but very, very happy. And I've got a toothache as well, so that doesn't help. But apart from that, life is good. And he's vlogging himself, seeing the castle for the first time. So he's going to go there and then look behind him. Obviously, go and check out his vlog if you want to see his reaction. But I think that's really cute. Oh my god, I've only just. Guys. Nice. This is my first time seeing the castle on this trip anyway. And it is quite gorgeous, you know. I've come to really appreciate this castle as well. It's not pink, it's not as beautiful as the one in Paris, but it's still cute in its own way. And I think that might be this opening ceremony, so all good. <laughs> it is. Also look at the look at the it's not like um cobbles, you know in Paris yeah. it's like cobbles. It's been nicer to walk on. Fair, I'll I'll give you that. It is very big though, right? Compared to the compared to the Disneyland very one. Wide. Very wide indeed. So we're walking to the castle now to hopefully catch the show. Um there's all the first parts before everywhere. <laughs> what did they tell you the cat? <laughs> Cute. Right. 
I'm excited. I haven't seen this show since last March because I didn't watch it when I came here. Um, you know, remember there's some of the Main Street citizens here as well. This lovely lady in blue. We get to maybe have a chat with her later on. That's really cool. <laughs> this is so cute. I forgot how cute this thing was. I can't even see it. I'm just listening. Wonderful day. Oh, they're all coming out. They're so cute. Magical. We've had a nice welcome to the kingdom of magic. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog for now because this part is now over. Obviously, the vlogs are continuing. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for having watched my journey here yesterday and obviously the start of our Magic Kingdom day as well. Check out my other vlogs. There'll be more vlogs coming out very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog with the rest of our day. Bye.